Hey guys, welcome to and welcome back. I'm so Veronica and I'm so ready to remind you to sew into your future. If you're interested, stay tuned. So here on today's episode of Sewing to Your Future, we are going to be concluding this project because we got to wear this tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. We got to wear it. So we're going to, um, I'm going to thread my needle off camera. No, I'm going to thread it on camera. That way I can talk to you guys. I just did something that I'm not proud of. You know, when you go through the drive through of like a fast food place and they make, they leave it up to you, up to the people to decide who goes next because there's like multiple lanes. Well, you would think common courtesy would kick in, but it never does. That's one of the reasons why I stopped eating fast food. I stopped, you know, cause I'm just like, I don't want to deal with it. But here recently, I tried a double cheeseburger. Honey, that's all I got. I didn't want no fries or nothing. Y'all not messing up my order. Just a double cheeseburger. And uh, it was really good. It was hot. It was fresh. The bun was soft. The cheese was melted. It was really good. Now, the price wasn't $4.03. That's with tax. But anyway... So I was like, okay, the double cheeseburger was good. I might let this be my thing and just treat myself periodically to a double cheeseburger. Y'all, I tried that today and the people were so rude with not wanting anybody. Everybody wanted to be first in line to get their food. And so the truck that swooped in front of me, and I just, I just waited because when you wait, you can see who was raised right. When you wait, you can see who's selfish. When you wait, you can see who knows the Lord, okay? I know we have days where, you know, charge it to my head, not my heart type thing goes on. But it, it's a real telltale sign. If you're about to run somebody over for, for a Mac rib sandwich or a Big Mac, it shows a lot about your character. Anyway, so... The person in the truck did me like that and just like bogarted their way. And I'm like, go ahead, bruh, go ahead. And so when it was his turn, they pulled him up, which, you know, I kind of figured that was going to happen. They pulled him up and he had to wait and they gave me my sandwich. And y'all, I'm not proud of this, but I, my window was already down from when I got the food. And so I just held the bag out the window <laughs> as I rode past them. And I just dangled it out the window to show I got my food and I'm on my way. Y'all, I got halfway down the street. I opened that bag. That sandwich felt like it was a baseball. It, was, it wasn't even in the shape of a burger. It was balled up and hard. Something in it was hot. Something in the middle of the sandwich was hot. I don't know if it's because they had that old sandwich sitting under a heat lamp. And that's where the heat was resonating from. But something in that sandwich was hot, but the out everything else was cold and old and hard. And I was like, this was $4.03. This is all I got. Like, you would think they would be like, no, let's give her a fresh sandwich since she's less of a, you know, inconvenient, less of a... You know, I've worked fast food, so I know that when people get big orders like that, they're like, ugh. The only people happy to see big orders are the people making the money off of the big orders, period. Unless it's a family-owned restaurant. Then they like the more the merrier. But anyway, so I had to swing back around. Y'all, he was still there. So the Lord was showing me. You know, God, he chastens. He chastens his children. So I was like, Lord, I'm going to deal with this chasing him, but I'm going I'm to deal with it with the hot sandwich. I go in and the woman, bless her heart and all her parts, she said, oh, you want, you want a new bun? <laughs> I said, woman, I want, I said, I said, uh, no ma'am. On the inside, I was saying, woman, I want a new sandwich. But I was like, if I can get a new, if I can get a fresh sandwich, like I didn't even take a bite out of it. I looked at that sandwich. I'm like, this does not say, you know, when, when it's a, a company, a well-known company internationally, worldwide, then it's like, you expect a certain, like, come on, don't, this ain't no Ma and Paul shop. 
And y'all not just going to... Okay, I wish that last button would have been down here. I really wish it would have. All right, so now I am... Let me show y'all so y'all can see the unevenness of it all. Where's my seam ripper? Ripper dipper. But yeah, I'm not proud of that. But I'm like, I always share stuff with you guys. And, you know, I want to share the good, the bad, the in-between, honey. I don't want y'all to think more highly of me than y'all ought to. You know, the Bible says we, we shouldn't think more highly of ourselves. Don't think more highly of yourselves than you ought so yeah, this thread is just coming right on up off of here, y'all. It didn't look like it was on the wrong side at first, obviously. Unless I wouldn't have gone through with it. Now I'm going to get it from on the inside to free it without making a hole in the garment. All right. God allows U-turns. He allows U-turns. So let me um talk to the people who are here for Poshmark tips and tricks. Because um I think that's good right there. So um let me get my thread out. Lord have mercy. Okay, so since I've been serving, serving, serving in the ministry of Poshmark since 2017, I think I know enough to share the wisdom. So, um, if you're getting started on Poshmark, I really don't think you need a steamer. I really don't. Um, I steamed the first batch of clothes that I sold on Poshmark, and I literally thought that it it took all that, but once you fold them up and put them in bags and storages, then it's like you're seeing, oh, okay, it's going to get wrinkled anyway. But I mean, I guess you're doing it for the pictures or whatever, but it's just unnecessary. I bought stuff that was so, and people wash it when they get it. They wash it, they're supposed to wash it before they wear it. So a, a steamer is unnecessary, save your monies. Um, a printer is the only thing that I would really say you need. A printer and printing paper. That's going to like cost you to spend some, a nice significant amount of money. I'm talking to people who are working fast food jobs, who are on a fixed income, who are trying to get a little bit of an extra whatever going, side hustle going, so that they don't have to add Sister Cornstarch for $30 until Thursday. And you can get that for... I want to say $100, maybe $90, because you, you want to be able to print off the, the address of the people who have purchased something. Let me check this before I finish stitching. Let me look at it. Much better. Okay. All right. Now we in there. So I would make sure that I start off with enough crates to go from A to Z. You know, and when I say crates, I mean those huge plastic tubs, you know, and that's just to protect your merchandise, your inventory, because, you know, in case your apartment or your house gets flooded, in case there's uh, some off the wall, weird something that happens that you weren't anticipating so that all of your efforts are protected. Okay. I feel like I want... Okay, I was going to say, I feel like I want white lace through here. I don't know why. I shouldn't. I shouldn't desire the white lace right there. But the black lace, I... I... Well, if it stretches and the lace don't stretch... We're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. Anywho, um, Poshmark, you can make a lot. I added it up one time and I, I made, honey, it was like, I want to say 5,000. And that was, I sold a whole bunch of stuff after that. You say, why are you telling us that? I'm telling you that because that was, that was out of like, uh, 
maybe two or three, two and a half years of sewing, sewing, selling on Poshmark. But the point is, is that it showed, it proved to be a good thing, a good investment, okay? Now, the reason why I stopped selling on Poshmark, my husband's work phone was going off, but he is currently in California because he wants to follow his football team and they're playing against my football team, which is really weird. The 49ers and the and Kansas City Chiefs. And um, where my needle go? And um, I was just, I was like, I just wanted to go in there and see who was who would be calling him, knowing he's out of town. We got a little bet going, y'all. We got a little bet going. Whose team is gonna do what? And I was like, we got Patrick Mahomes, so. And I should have started from the back. But I didn't think it would matter since the uh, the thread is black. But yeah, I stopped selling on Poshmark because um, it was just taking up too much space in my house. And I got a pretty big house. And I didn't like I didn't like all the lowball offers. You know, once other poshers get to sell into other poshers, and we already know about how much one might have paid for that garment because you can tell by looking at somebody's closet if they normally would have clothes like that or if they went sourcing or shoes like that for instance me if you got my size shoe but you also have a whole bunch of other size shoes then i'm gonna think that these aren't really your shoes and so you might not you might not you might be just like trying to get rid of them Cause you're like, what am I gonna do with these big old shoes? And ain't nobody sent me an offer on these. I'm gonna take the first offer or the next offer I get. You know, it's a certain, okay. So I'm gonna cut that because it's obviously, I'm gonna go, I'm go a little bit closer and, ooh, okay. Push it right on behind the button. That's a good idea. Yeah, it was just taking up too much space and I got discouraged because you can you can experience one too many um I don't want to say rude people but just non non you know just selfish just non-thinking people and it turns you off of it because you go through all of this to make sure that the you know the 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 listing is done properly multiple pictures can't stress that enough I would give measurements on everything. You wouldn't have to ask me what the measurements were for something. Um, I made online shopping. I like to think I made online shopping easier. People not hitting the accept button in decent time. And it's like, okay, I accepted your, your lowball offer. You know, I shipped it the same day. You don't have the decency to accept it. Like, look at look at it. Take your time. Put it on. Strut. You know, sit, bend, do the splits, do whatever you need to do to make sure that it's prop in proper quality, according to the listing. But then hit the hit the accept button, because it's already going to take it a couple days for that money to, money to hit your account. And it's like inconsiderate people like that. And most of the time, I will put a gift in there. Oh, no. Ooh, no. I just said, these people are, you know, ridiculous. Ridiculous. I didn't want that stuff taking up space in my house, honey. You watch a couple episodes of Hoarders, and it, it'll make you think, honey. Oh, I could sell this on Poshmark. Have you sold it? You ain't sold it. You know, it's it's okay to have some stuff because some stuff it did take a, a while for it to sell. It was like it was waiting on on the perfect buyer. But then there was some stuff it's like nah. I'm not going to wait around on the perfect buyer. But if you have a curated closet, this is a really good tip here. If you have a curated closet, you say, what is that? 
is where it's like it's a boutique looking thing. You know, people, they have a reason to come to you because your stuff is is unique. It's not like you have an online Walmart where, oh, they can get that. They can get that at Dollar General, you know. They can get that at any Goodwill. But it's unique pieces where it's like, uh, uh, you know. And you have them priced where it's like, where if you wanted to send an offer, then you're not too much digging in your own profit because you had them priced a little bit, a little bit fudged. The numbers were fudged. Now you got some wiggle room to work with. But if you already putting them, putting them down there for dirt cheap and people send you an offer, it's like, come on. That's, that's one thing that got on my nerves. When I lowered all of my prices and people were still sending lowball offers, I said, well, shoot, just the gas driving to the post office, the poly mailers, you know, cause I didn't want to just be wrapping it up in price chopper bags, grocery sacks. I purchased, invested in poly mailers and thank you cards and tissue paper and ribbons and they send in lowball offers? Oh no. So we're gonna add this last one here. Y'all, I thought I was gonna put some, put some. I gotta go to work later, honey. I can't be, uh uh. I'm, I'm, this is too much standing. I'm giving it room to where it can stretch. You know? Yeah. Where's my... Why I keep losing this needle? That's my one of my pet peeves. Because it's like, you know you're going to need it again. There it is. Give it a little bit more room. So I just recently, you know, I was thinking, I was like, let me start, let me get another Poshmark going so that I can sell my dresses, right? Um, I thought about it. I know Etsy is where they sell homemade stuff, you know, but I call it customized. I don't, I don't want to call it homemade. It's customized. I'm always fascinated when I can get the knot to be exactly on top of another knot. Because that very rarely happens. Now, these pants that I got from the Goodwill the other day, this is the shirt and the pants that I purchased. I washed them. But um, the pants, they the elastic around the waist, honey, is non-existing. Y'all see how I had to, look at that. Y'all see that? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do something. It's all droopy. Anyway, but I like the little. Um, it has like lines. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ripples. Oh, I thought it had them in the back. It didn't even got them in the back. Now I'm upset. It just has them in the front. They look like built-in creases. A touch of professionalism, please. Yes. So we're going to stitch this last one on here. I should start from the, again, the inside of the skirt, but why start now? I'm putting some pins on this lace would have been ideal just to keep it, keep it in line. But you can also look at the fabric and you could be like, you know what? If I'm, if I keep it connected with all these flowers, then it will be in a straight line going across. I just noticed that the background can work with you. But yeah, I kind of wish that Poshmark like somehow, I don't know, I don't like that if you sold something and then like that $7 appears in your account because it's just $7. Now granted, if you ain't got no food, you know, then that $7 hitting your account, you're going to thank God for it. Or you don't got no gas. But um, I would like for it to be able to like all of my money from, from the sales for a month 
you know, it hit the account. And then it's like, okay, now I can pay a light bill. Now I can pay, you know, a bill, a significant bill. But when you got $50 hitting your account and $30 hitting your account, you don't really get to, yeah. Now when that 150 hit my account, honey, good boy. I was very much appreciative of that. So this is where we are. Can we, can we finish it is the question. Can we get done with this? Bring it in from the inside. Snippity snip. I really believe in, when I'm making my wigs, y'all, I really believe in making threading multiple needles at a time. Because this right here, this, this is what makes it tedious when you can't just grab it and go. So now I want to try this on to see, just to see. I just want to try it on. There's a lot that goes into making a, making a garment. And I have yet to, to tap the surface. But the little bit that I do know, I know it is, it is, it's something else. All right, so. Let me get some elastic. Now I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I can put just like elastic on the sides, you know, and not all around it. Does that make sense? Since this is like in two strips, I don't think that makes sense though. And I don't want to use my little thin elastic just yet, but I will. Put that over there with the other fabric. Let's try this on. Let me close this window so I can try on this skirt. Be right back. All right, so y'all gonna see this before I do because I have not looked at it. I have not looked at it. What in the hoot of a jig it? Want to make sure this is in the front. It looks lined up to me. Looks good to me. Let me see. All right, so here we are. I'm looking in the mirror. I've seen this before, but I have not seen the, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Once I've adjusted, create and adjust. It's weird. So, is it me? Yeah, definitely want to measure the what's the names. But they own there, honey. They, they good and on there. Everything is in position. But they, they show enough going to the side and not straight up the front. We still got that back there, that seam. It's a thick seam back there. Anyway. That's enough for today. If I just, with this middle one, this middle one, if I could have just lifted it a little bit more. Still gonna wear it. Let me try on the shirt. Oh, shoot. Okay, so it's, I need to go over this with the sewing machine. This part is, I haven't tried this on since I flattened it. Mm, mm, mm. This is cute. 
Now, what am I going to do with that top part, though? This is no longer a... It's going in a whole different direction, y'all. I mean, not like it's bad, a bad direction. But it's definitely... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe. <laughs> I have no lotion on. If I'm going to work and I'm already showered and everything and ready for work, but now that I didn't work up a little sweat off up in here, that double cheeseburger done did a number on me. I'm going to have to hop back in the shower. All right, so I don't know if it's the hair. <laughs> Something is giving it. These little braids is growing on me, y'all. Let me get my... This will be the picture for the video. Wait, let me put a flower in my ear. That little red flower, honey, it does wonders. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a Oh, can't do gold accessories. Not with this silver hardware. Anyway, show the buttons. The buttons. Something as simple as buttons can make or break an outfit. And as y'all can see, y'all see a little side panel of fat. So I'm going to have to do, oh, this is cute. I like it right here. Usually I have it all pulled up to my high waist. Yeah, okay. Okay, I see, I see. I understand. I understand a little bit more now. So I'm thinking, where, where'd I do with the buttons? There they go. There they go. Since we have three buttons to work with, I feel like the three right here is not gonna make sense. I feel like put some black lace put some black lace around the, the sleeves and then put a button right above the black lace on each arm, obviously, and then one button in the center. That, it only makes sense. You only got three buttons. Anyway, this outfit is cute. It's cute. The, the, the lovely imperfections and all is cute. Now this, I can't get with this. This is gonna have to be flattened. Might put a button there. Or I could put the, no. I was gonna say the buttons one, two, and three. No. They're gonna be on the sleeves. They're gonna be on the sleeves. That way if you turn to the side, you can see what the outfit is bringing to the table if you turn to the side. Because if you turn to the side now, you can't see everything that the outfit has to offer. But when you go like this, when you just a slight, subtle, subtle turn, you see all of this and you're like, wait a minute. She might have some coins in her pocket. Where my purses at? I took all my purses downstairs. Try to make some room in here. But now I need a purse so I can show, really show how the outfit is going to be pulled together. Lord have mercy. Y'all, this is cute. I know you beg to differ, but it's cute to me. Okay, so I got to make sure that I don't let it go up here like this because then it covers up that. So as long as I keep it, and I don't think I need to tighten this anymore. You know, the waist of it, because it's on there. It's, it's snug as a bug in a rug. 
you know. All right, I'm done. Let me get me a nap in before work so I can go make this money. My husband's out of town. <laughs> I'm about to party. I'm about to party. If you watch that episode of Martin, then you know where I got that from. We about to party. We about to party. So when my hair is wet, I get a full ponytail. It stretches all the way out to a full ponytail. I love this outfit. Oh my goodness. All right, so whatever. Whatever. I love this fit. Mm, mm, mm. So since it's going this way, if I if I angle it this way, y'all see y'all see what I did there? Wait. Yeah, just gotta throw the hip all the way over there. That's all. What? What you say? Anyway, bye y'all. Thanks for watching.